hello guys welcome back to my channel please if this is your first time clicking on my video or visiting my channel do consider subscribing and also share this video like and comment i'd like to hear what you think about the video and if you're a returning member of my channel thank you for stopping by again guys my first topic for this video is the viral video going around about a married man that was caught pants down with a nursing mother in Edo State in the city. I have so many issues with the video or issue itself. Uh, for starters, this is becoming really, really rampant. It is becoming too frequent. I did another video on my page about a pastor who was caught in bed with a pregnant woman, a seven months pregnant woman. And while they were in bed humping, there were sacrificial candles it was the humping was actually a sacrifice there were candles all over the floor the woman didn't know her husband was going to come in the husband came in saw them and made a video it is really strange to me that men are now picking it is one thing for you as a married man to step outside of your union with your wife when did it become okay to sleep with someone else's wife, a pregnant woman or a nursing mother, someone else's nursing mother. Why? When? Anyway, in this particular case, I don't even think it's the first time, but let's just state it the way it was related. The man who goes by the name of Mr. Agu was caught pants down, in bed, humping a nursing mother. She has a one-year-old child. In her husband's bed. That's another issue that is very, very common. They even want to sleep with these women. They don't take them to their houses. They come to the matrimonial home and hump them on their matrimonial bed. There are so many things wrong with that. In the middle of him, get it jiggy with it other neighbors probably heard sounds the funny sounds coming out and they went in to see what was happening and they saw him right on top of her humping away like there was no tomorrow another thing that the woman failed to understand was that even though she thought that her husband had left which would usually be the ritual the man was actually still in the compound he hasn't actually left maybe for work, business, wherever he was going. He was still around. He hasn't left. When the neighbors found out what was going, they raised the alarm and then the husband came back and then saw Mr. Agu right on top of his wife, pumping his wife. Like, what is wrong? You are a married man with a wife at home. What can somebody else's wife give you that you cannot find in your wife at home? And even if you must sleep with somebody, why a nursing mother? What is so special about picking a nursing mother or a pregnant woman? It's, it's becoming too common. It's dis disturbing. It's actually very disturbing that there are people out there whose only gaze, whose only... The only time they give their attention or the only people they give their attention to are pregnant women or nursing mothers. Is there more to this? At one point, it was them taking women's pants for ritual, right? This they are get rich quick um, rituals that they do. They collect women's pants. That's what they were using for ritual. And that one passed. Later, it became really, really actually just going and taking people's lives. That one passed. Later, it became them sacrificing something from their own body. That one passed. Have we somehow, is that what we're missing now? 
have we somehow moved into the phase of using women, pregnant women, or nursing mothers now? Is that where we are at now? Because this whole thing, you see somebody today, somebody gets caught today, another person tries again tomorrow. Another person gets caught and they hear another story next week of the same thing. Why do they keep going if there's no more to it? Anyway, he was beaten black and blue. He was seriously assaulted by the woman's husband and the neighbors. I don't agree to violence, but in this case, well done to them. Well done to them. And now that the videos are going viral, if he has children, they will see their father and how stupid he has been. Imagine the embarrassment he will be bringing to his wife now, who will surely be getting calls going, oh, they are beating your husband because they found him with a nursing mother. How crazy is that? Somehow, my personal opinion, I don't think this is, this is ordinary. I feel like there's more to this. Surely, I feel like there's more to it, but that's my personal opinion and who am I to judge? Please give me your opinion below this video. Let me know in the comment section. Let me know what you think about it. But I find it really, really disgusting. Moving on, guys, to our next topic. is our beautiful Nigerian actress, Eniola Badmos. Late last year, or early this year, I think it was, Eniola Badmos did a complete revamp of herself. She said she had tried to lose weight so many times. It wasn't working for her. She had done different exercises and diet. It wasn't working. So she decided to go the surgery route. She wanted to regain her self-esteem. I'm not going to knock her down for that. I'm all for it. Go for it. Anything that makes you happy. Anything that makes you feel like your real authentic self. Go for it, as long as it's not hurting someone else. But the issue I have with Auntie Eniola is that even after the surgery, she still sees the need to retouch her pictures. She's either trimming here or slimming there or a brushing here or a brushing there. You went to a surgeon pointed what you wanted out they gave you a bill you paid they gave you what you asked for you should be happy with what you asked for why are you not happy to flaunt it why are you not proud to flaunt it why do you feel like you have to a brush well she's been doing it for a long time now she's been getting away with it until she went too far this time she went way too far this is a brushing she uh, brushed herself to a whole new person, basically. She posted some pictures of herself that she had obviously retouched. And uh, let's just say it wasn't her anymore. She had touched it. You, would, you couldn't even tell it was her. She had slimmed her face so much. And she had these tires on her neck. Like, she had these rings. The brushing, it wasn't smooth. It created rings on her neck. By the time she was done, her face, basically, she, she literally looked like a Chinese doll baby. You know those, <laughs> those doll babies that you buy from Alibaba? Yeah, that's what she looked like. She really, really looked like a Chinese doll baby. She looked like somebody completely different. She wasn't she wasn't even hearing it when some of her fans came on to try to tell her that this time she had gone that tiny little bit too far with the airbrushing. It's one thing for you to be airbrushing pictures and, and trying to make them look presentable. It's another thing for you to airbrush to the point that you become a whole new person. The first person that commented on that the video went, ah, the editing no go well. She came back and said, and your luck came back and said, really? And then the second person went, this editing is not editing, no, and see me. The third person came and said, I thought I was the only one that saw that too. Carol White editing. And your luck bad must came back. Funny as she is, she said, hello, fair and white. 
And then the fourth person came and said, oh, no, the second slide is not you, Auntie Oniola. And she retorted by saying, now you. If you look at the slides, you will see that they were actually right. She went that tiny little bit too far this time. Anyways, I wish her well and I pray that eventually someday she will find confidence in the body that she bought because she basically paid for, she paid for it, so she bought it. She will find confidence in the body that she bought and just flaunt that instead of having to a brush and edit pictures constantly. It's a lot of work. I'm going to bring this video to a close here, guys. Please, if you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing and also like, share this video and also comment. I'd like to know what you think about the video until I come your way again.